Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm transforming this dark black wooden bookcase into a more modern in my opinion and sleek looking shelving unit. And if you've seen my previous home tours I have been talking about wanting to paint this furniture piece for quite a while now. So without further ado, let's get started and jump right in to this transformation. So clearly the first step with this is to remove all of the items on the shelf, which I have done. And now you can see me removing the piece of cloth that I put here when we moved in just to hide all of the cords. So it is just a basic black sheet that I nailed to the back of the shelving unit. And I am just removing this here. And as you can see, this sheet definitely did its job by hiding all of these cords behind here. And here are my supplies. There's not too many at all, but here are the paintbrushes that I'll be using. I found this variety pack at Meijer, so I will be using the widest brush and the thinnest brush for this project. And then here are my two paint colors. The main one is the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover in Almond. And then the top color is just like a sample color and that is sold exclusively at Target. And then here is my microfiber dust cloth just to make sure that the bookcase is nice and clean before I start painting. And of course I have to have my Spotify app on. Today I'm listening to Florida Georgia Line. So here I am dusting it off and just making sure that everything is nice and clean and ready to go before we start applying the paint. And here is my paint color. You can kind of see it in the jar here. It's a really pretty off-white color and I've painted a couple other furniture pieces with this color and I really really like it. It's not too bright and it gives a nice shine. So here I am off to painting. And I could already tell immediately just by adding this first coat on the top here that I was very happy with this decision. Going from black to all white is a pretty drastic change, but like I said, I could already tell just from these first couple of coats that I was going to be very pleased with the outcome. So since there are so many like levels and features to this bookshelf, I kind of had to position myself a little bit awkwardly sometimes just to make sure that I was getting each of the areas with the paint, but uh, it was not too hard. Plus, it was such a gorgeous morning and this project was actually very relaxing and therapeutic for me. And so now I am painting the sides of the bookcase. And here I am trying to get in to these awkward spots again. <laughs> now I let the first coat dry and I added the second coat. And here I am painting the edges of the bookcase, that baby pink salmon color that I purchased from Target. I really just wanted to add a pop of color and give this bookcase some dimension, which was my thoughts behind adding a different color for the edges. And here you can see the bookcase is all completely painted. I had to add two coats of both colors for the sides and the shelves and the edges. And so now I'm just going to let all of this dry. And now that everything is dried up, I am going to be putting another sheet on the back of this bookcase to again hide all of the wires. This is just a reused sheet and it is in off-white color so it goes pretty well with the bookcase. And now I'm just fixing up the sheet so that it looks nice and laid out flatly. And here I am adding back my decor and I still need to fix that sheet a little bit more but I'm sure you can see my vision with all of this. So again here is the before shot of this bookcase and here is the after. I am so so incredibly happy with how this turned out. I think that it really brightens up the room and just gives the whole space a new, brighter, fresher look. So that is all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you just want to chat with me, come say hello in the 
comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I would really appreciate it. Also, make sure to check the bottom description for all of my upcoming videos. I have so many listed down below. So again, thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. And until then, take care.